Hi everyone, my name is Nick Valdez and I am a music director, vocal coach, pianist and singer based in St. Louis, Missouri. I currently serve on the faculty at Webster University as a collaborative pianist and hold several MDing positions around the STL area. I'm honored to be here with Ghostlight Audition Group to talk about working with your audition pianist. I've played so many beautiful auditions and many auditions that could have went more smoothly. So for today, I'm going to walk you through all the necessary steps to ensure that you have a flawless audition. First, we will talk about preparing the sheet music, then the etiquette when you walk into the room, how to talk to your pianist, and then wrapping it up and leaving the room. We have a lot of stuff to go through, so let's jump in it. All right, preparing the sheet music. I like to consider this an art. A nicely designed cut for your pianist makes you look very professional and helps pianists have a more successful attempt at sight reading your music. Before I start the process, I want to preface that every pianist has an opinion on how to do audition cuts. These are my preferences. Take what you will from it. Step one, where is your sheet music from? Is it straight from the piano vocal score? Is it purchased from the music notes? Is it from scribed? These are questions you want to ask yourself before you start printing out your sheet music. Be wary of music note arrangements. They have gotten better with Sherry Sanders' Rock the Audition audition cuts, but a lot of the time, these arrangements can be very difficult to sight read because they give more information than necessary. And if you are transposing, a computer does the transpositions. So a lot of the time, it is not supernatural for the first time I read the music. I prefer music from the score or the musical theater anthologies Get in good with your MT pianist friends or reach out to an MT coach and ask them if they think the music is readable. But while you're doing this, be very careful that you don't come off as that friend who only reaches out to your pianist friends when you have a sheet music question. We can help with transpositions and finding the right music for you. But check in on us every now and again and ask us out to coffee before asking for help with your sheet music. I'm all about networking. Pianists need friends too. Step two. Now that you have your music, let's begin marking your cut. This step is crucial to your success. You must mark your music as if you are communicating to a slightly blind, hard of hearing, cranky old pianist. You need to edit the cut so that someone seeing it for the first time has the best chance to give you a successful read of your music. Let me pull up an example. Okay, so these uh, cuts are from a, a musical we're workshopping here at Webster. Let me find it. Here we go. Okay, so this song is called Light of Fire. Notice how I put a start spot on this page. You always want to mark your start and ends. So I'm starting here. There's a little intro, which is always nice to have in your music. And then you sing, 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 blah, 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 blah. And then here's where our first kind of cut happens. So because we have restraints between 16 and 32 bars, a lot of the time we need to kind of make some interesting arrangements or adjustments to the music. So one really easy way to do that is put a bracket here. And this indicates that I'm playing up into the bracket. And then this clearly marked X box out over here tells me what I don't play. And then this open bracket brings my eyes directly to where I need to go. This is super clear because I can see where my eyes need to go, okay? This is, so, this is so important. So then I go, 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 go. And then here's my little end right there. Okay, easy enough with that one. Let me show you another example. So this one is a little bit more, um, there's a little bit more going on in it. There we go. All right, this one's Ferris wheel. So I did not need to sing the first part of the song here. So I did a big old box with an X through it. This is to be done with Sharpie um, and make it really clear of what you don't need. There, there's my start again. Here's my little intro. And then I'm singing, I'm singing, I'm singing. I forgot to X this out, but this would have an X right here. And then so X, 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 my eyes go right to on her husband's wheel here. I know to sing that <laughs> X more X's but I know I can clearly see where I'm going. This one was a little bit more involved. And a lot of the times this is what happens in auditions. I understand this. I'm prepared. I am trained to jump and be flexible. So this isn't too much. Okay. I think if you were looking at your music and you're like, 
oh my goodness, this looks like a crazy map, then maybe we want to readjust or ask one of your pianist friends. Okay, there's my end. I'll show you one more example. Sweet Angel. Okay, again, I did not need all this intro. I have my Xboxes out where I don't need to play. Here's my start. Boom, boom. I sing, sing, sing. I X that out. I don't need it. I see exactly where I need to go here and then where I end. This process is really fun. It's kind of like an art project, but the more fun process is coming. Now that you have your cut marked, let's begin my favorite part that I like to call the surgical process. Get your scissors, tape, and a three-hole punch ready. We are about to do an art project. So typically, if you are doing your standard 16 bar or 32 bar cut, the amount of sheet music you, you should have is around two to three pages, sometimes four, depending on how the music was edited. There's a slightly different process for each variation of pages. The easiest is two pages. Just hole punch them side by side, put it in a binder and you're golden, okay? Three pages gets a little trickier. When you print a three page cut, you will want to print in single sided sheets. Don't print on both sides, here's why. Page turns can be difficult on a first read. They can be natural or they can literally be the reason for your audition to head downhill. This is because I need to take my hands off the keyboard and turn the page all while continuing to play. And if it's a particularly fast song or a passage that has a lot of fast notes right before the page turn, there is a higher probability that I will fall off the piano bench trying to turn this page. Okay, maybe not that dramatic, but it can be difficult. To avoid this, print on one side and then we will construct it so there's no page turns. I'll explain this in a second. Everything goes in a binder and no page protectors. A lot of the time, there will be a glare on the protectors with the lighting in the room. I know we seem really picky, but sometimes notes are really little and they come very fast. Anything to distract us could take away from your audition. Sometimes we see something shiny and go to the light. <laughs> here's an example of a cut of Vienna by the fray. Let me grab my binder here. Okay. So here's my cut. See how my first page is over here on the, on the left? This is really important because I don't want it here because then that's an extra page turn, okay? So here's, the, here's our first page. And then here's what the, a full cut looks like. You're gonna open that page and then you have no page turn. So you can just set it on the stand like this. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, so print it all out, single sided. And then you're gonna hole punch your first page, put it on the left. You're gonna hole punch your second page, put it on the right. And then you're going to tape on the bottom top, bottom part and the top part. Okay, so, but here's the thing, here's the tricky part and why you need scissors. When you close it in the binder, if it's the full sheet of paper, it's gonna fold and look messy right here on the actual holes of the page um, or, or the holes in the binder. So you're gonna take your scissors and you're just gonna cut the margin so that it folds neatly into your book, okay? And then all you gotta do is open it. Isn't that nice? It's just, it's so, it's so fun to just, you know, be fierce and uh, slap your page open when you put your um, music down on the stand. Okay, so for a four page cut, it's gonna be the similar process, but instead you're going to have your first page uh, taped, oops, taped to your second page and then those two will fold together and that'll be what you hole punch and then your third page and fourth page and then you'll fold that and hole punch it and then it just closes all together okay all right let's move on to etiquette while in the room your audition starts in the hallway or waiting room usually there will be a door monitor who will usher you into the room sometimes not you must act like somebody's eyes are always watching you your audition is more than just your talent we like to see your authentic self. Don't try to be someone you aren't. We can smell it like sharks. Come into the room, say hello, and read the room. What's it feel like? There's always an essence. Are we a small talk kind of room or are we a get down to business and show us what you got kind of room? Be natural. Walk with confidence to your pianist. Greet your pianist. We are sweaty, we're smelly, hungry, thirsty, you probably need to go to the bathroom. This is probably our thousandth audition and our back probably hurts a lot, but always ask us how we are. It's polite. Set your music on the stand and open your music accordingly. Now you are completely in control. This is your time to shine. Be specific and clear about your cut. 
tell us what song it is because a lot of the time your cut may not start on the title page. Tell me where to start and where to end. Hopefully you have clearly marked it in the marking process. If your um, cut doesn't start on the title page, I always like to put the name of the song and written down on that page just to give it a little bit clearer understanding of what the song is. Then I'm going to ask for a tempo or I might wait for you to tell me your tempo. It really depends. Every audition, it goes a little different. So tell me your tempo by simply tapping on your chest and singing the song that you will for your audition. For example, if I'm gonna do It's a Hard Knock Life, I'm gonna go, It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. So it's kind of like, you just, it's to yourself. It's not, it's a hard knock life. It's not, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to snap. You don't want to clap. This is so, this can be really rude. Um, you would never clap at your banker when you walk up to the window and deposit your check after booking this audition, right? Take your time here. I have seen people literally sing their whole audition cut with me before the table is ready for you to start your audition. Many times they are still talking from the last person and want to get recentered before you begin. Again, read the room. If they're glaring, get to your mark. At that point, you're ready to shine. I have been given the necessary ingredients, sugar, butter, tempo, to give you the best audition that I can. I am truly here to help you. I didn't pick this life to butcher every audition that came in. I really want to support you and make you shine. But always remember, at the end of the day, I am a human just like you, and I can make mistakes during your audition and throw you off. If it's on me, sometimes I will apologize and begin again and say it's on me, depending if we have time in the room or not. This is not on you. Take a breath and recenter. Sometimes pianists won't stop and they'll just keep going. You have to adjust and be flexible. If you have, if you struggle to start your song or something's not right, just simply stop and be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Could we please, you know, do that over or try again? That was on me. Never put blame on anybody. Never say, oh, it was too slow. Oh my gosh, can you play that faster or whatever? Never do that. That's, that's, gonna, <laughs> that's gonna definitely look a little poorly on your part. So take a breath and recenter and just restart the song. Um, remember, we are often reading this music for the first time. And if you brought in some Sondheim, Jason Robert Brown, or Ghetto, we may miss a note or two or three. Just keep going. The table understands that you probably didn't get 45 minute rehearsal with me before. Unless you knew me, which is why you always want to get in good with your pianists. After you're finished with your audition, always thank the table and then come to the piano and thank the pianist. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to grab your music and then head out the door. You're done. Now the waiting game begins. So I think those are all the big ticket items. I hope I didn't miss anything, but I hope this was helpful. Again, these are just my opinions. Take it with a grain of salt. Do as much or as little as I suggested. Everyone has their own opinion. These are not the law. Thank you for watching and thank you Ghostlight for having me. Stay tuned for more educational videos.